hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I am so happy because my husband showed up with something that I have been craving for so long and we usually drink it a lot when we are in when we were in Trinidad and yeah so I grew literally grew up drinking this every around Christmas time close to Christmas time and this you can either get it in the store dried or you can get like the literal I don't know what it is is it a fruit is it I know you can eat it just so but when you eat it just so it is slightly sour sour taste but it tastes really good and it makes really great drink as well so the name of this that I am talking about is sorrel so he literally showed up with a big bag of sorrel last night and let me sh actually yesterday evening and let me show you guys what he came home with so look at this bag guys see this big bag here he came home with this big bag here and watch inside sorrel to the brim well not to the brim it have a little space like it's like three quarter yeah like three quarter of this bag like seriously it's so much sorrel and it looks so good oh my gosh let's see sorrel if you look at sorrel it have an inside and you will see the seed I can't show you it good like this I'll show you the inside and everything soon when I'm preparing it so basically I'm going to be showing you guys how to prepare sorrel from this stage into using it to put in cake to put in pancakes and also to make juice you can make soccer ball you can make lollies anything you can make with it but I will be showing you how to break it down from this so so basically so right now we have two bags here because we barely have any set of barely have any set of bowls to use to put it in so I have two bags one to one to put the seeds and one to put the skin so yeah um yeah guys that's it so let me guys let me start now and let's let's see how fast i can finish this okay let's go so when you say about the sorrel when you say about the sorrel you want to cut out this top part here like this And then you want to cut like down like this. I wonder if you guys are seeing. And you'll get the seed like this. One part and the skin. Let me show you guys. Let me show you closer. Because I don't think you guys saw it good. So when you're seeing about soil. You want to cut on top. It have the top and it have the bottom. So you want to cut on top here. So you cut in around on top like this. And then you slice in to the side of it. Slice down like this. Like that. And then when you do that now you open up the slice and you pull it like this and it will automatically come out from it so this is how the seed will end up and you can actually plant back the seed guys so that's a lot of seed and this is the skin this is how the skin looks so this is what you'll be using So I'm going to do that with all of the sorrel now. So let's go. So 
So when I was small, my parents would bring home like a whole bag of this, of sorrel, and we had to, I think back then, I can't, I can't really remember how much sorrel was back then, but uh, you, but I know it was cheap because you can get, you could have got a lot in, a lot in a bag for like a lot of money, a little bit of money I mean, so it was kind of cheap, yeah. I'm trying to do all this quick because I still have a lot of things to do so I want to show you guys what I'm doing I definitely have to see about some to make some juice today so yeah so the good thing about sorrel is that you only need like a little bit you only need to see about a little bit to be able to get a lot of juice. So a little bit of sorrel will give you plenty of juice. So that is so good. And plus I guess you can make some wine as well with it. But I, I have never tried making wine before so... But I don't want to try making any kind of wine or anything in this house. Yeah. When we get to play, when we get our place, I will try making wine and see how it comes out. It's actually finishing really fast. So my husband was saying you can literally even dry some of the sorrel, sorrel, but I have never tried drying sorrel before. So I wouldn't really know exactly what to do. So I think I have to look it up and see exactly how to go about it and what you have to do. Right now this is so much sorrow so which means we will be cutting down on buying a lot of we'll be cutting down on buying too much liquids and all of that. It's actually pretty easy to do though. So Christmas, this is one of the drinks that every, almost every single person drinks. You'd barely find anyone that don't drink sorrel around Christmas time in Trinidad. I can't really talk about talk too much about Guyana pertaining sorrel drink because I don't really know how they like it or if they like it or what but sorrel drink is the best drink around Christmas time. Oh yeah, I was supposed to say, I started, I started um, this process around 10.30, half past 10. So let's see how fast I will finish it. So right now while I'm taping this video, I am watching a show. Oh, I am watching other YouTubers. I yeah so right now they are doing some type of house tour apparently they recently finished their home and they are showing their home so it feels like i did so much and it's looking like so little bit oh my gosh that is so much to go still normally it would be me my mom my sister, my and two of my brothers helping, or whoever I saw, but with me alone right now, while my husband is working, well, 
this is a lot very nice because when we have our children I can teach them all of these different things and they can be well equipped to use like grow natural things and use natural things for their drinks and for their food lately I have been for some reason lately I have been watching a whole lot of like homesteaders and farmers and these type of people and they actually live really great lives because they actually plant everything that almost every single thing that they eat some of them actually buy things and some of them literally just live on what they plant so that's a whole different thing there and it's actually good to live on what you plant because you can save money you can give away to people sell at a great price to people so they can afford it um, yeah and when you plant like that you can literally like show something and have like a feast for the whole neighborhood or whoever feel like coming oh my gosh so much things goes through my mind and um, I seriously can't wait for when these times come and I know that I know that yeah sometimes I get sometimes I get stressed out about it and whatever but I know that the God have been setting up times for when this might happen or that might happen I would actually pray for certain things to happen and as time goes by I would literally see it happening wow this is a lot of this is a lot of sorrow Okay guys, let's continue. The only thing with sorrow, it, when you see about it, it makes your hand, fingers turn red. Look at that. Okay guys, so I think I'm going to put on my show now. Put on a show now so I can watch a show. And I will come back on closer to when I reach the bottom so let me show you guys where I have reached so it's closer to half a bag right now remember it was three quarter just now so it's closer to a half a bag right now and this is what I just cut out this is a skin let me show you the skin the skin see and then these are the seeds so I have to figure out how I can preserve keep these seeds so I can so I will be able to plant it again and plant some sorrel yeah so I'll be back soon okay guys so my movie is almost finished and 
I just lost track of where I reach on it, so I don't really know what's going on. But I actually reach. Let me show you guys. I actually reach one quarter of the bag. So it is literally almost done. And so I um about around here. And these are the skins that I did. So the bag is almost full. And then these are the seeds that I got. So I will do another video on what I'm going to do with the seeds and what I'm going to do with the with this part as well. So yeah. So now I'm going to finish doing this while I finish watching my movie. I know I haven't been in the cafe in a couple weeks, but it feels like forever since you left. Well, I'm sorry. I tried to get you as usual, but I didn't even get near the door. I'm so glad I'm finished because current literally, literally just went and it is so blazing hot inside here so let me show you guys what let me check the time first the time right so I started around 10 30 and right now it is half past one so yeah right now it is half past one if you look here the bag is empty just some leaves and dirt or whatever and then this is the skin that I have to use to make the juice and different things so this is the amount to come up to a whole big bag this amount okay that's the soil and these are the seeds the seeds I got a lot of seeds so with these seeds I can literally plant it back and get a whole lot of sorrel see that yep great Wow it's so good guys so that's it for this video please um, so that's it for this video this video I just showed you how to like separate it seed from the skin skin from the seed I mean sorry and I showed you how long it usually takes I actually had a few little sh quick breaks in between because I had some other things in between to do and yeah so I started 10 30 and I finished one Thirty. so yeah anyway guys I just showed you how to separate the sorrel skin from the sorrel seed so that's it there so in the next please check out for the next video where I will be showing you guys how how I will be how I will be using the skin of the sorrel to see about to make different things like how I will use it I will be using it two different ways so check out the video right after this don't forget guys okay guys thank you so much for watching please like comment share and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video peace bye guys